Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch and & Sons and today we're going to be looking at something quite exciting, a new product from Yesu. Now I got the, the um, piece of paper through this week just to sort of make that announcement and I'm sure that you're all aware that the FTM200 has now been announced and we're looking at a delivery time I believe in around April sort of time, subject to uh, deliveries and uh, that sort of stuff. Um, so what is the FTM200 and where is it going to sit in the range? It shares a lot of the same components as the 6000 and the 300. It's going to be a dual band radio where, you're, where you can only listen to one band at a time. It's going to be 50 watts on VHF and UHF with an optional Bluetooth uh, board. Well, I think it's the BT4. Um, and then you can use the BT10 Bluetooth headset. There's a lot of stuff that it's going to come with that it, that it shares with the uh, with the other sort of thing. So I've got my iPad here. So what I'll do is I'll whiz through here. Now it's going to going to have a two inch um, high resolution screen QVGA full color TF TFT display with demountable front panel controller. And that is the pretty much the same. It's the same screen as you're actually going to get on or you get on the uh, on the FTM 300. That is the same two inch, same screen, same spec. And I've actually been through the, the announcements on both the, th the 300 and the 200, and that looks exactly the same. So um, that's that. The other thing that you're gonna, you'll get with it also is, um, I'll just say that it's actually, it's a C4 FM radio. So you'll be able to use it on all of the sort of C4 FM fusion sort of repeaters, that sort of thing. You're gonna have a, custom function list um, i'm not sure if that's available on the other radios but what that means is you can actually set up um, eight of your most used functions in a custom menu so a very quick access uh, menu similar to you, you know i'm sure you've got a camera that has that same kind of favorite sort of menu um, it's also going to have a high speed band scope um, which will allow the viewing of up to 61 channels um, that are centered on the current um, VFO uh, frequency. Um, so it will also allow up to 21 channels in memory mode. Now how that's going to work we won't know until we've actually got the radios in front of us but I'm, I'm fairly sure that if it's available on these and I'm sure it is on the 300 then I think you know it's going to work in a very similar way because like I said a lot of the spec is actually the same as the FTM 300. Now the microphone is, um, is going to be the same. The microphone is going to be the the SSM 85D and that is a microphone that comes with both the 6000 and the 300. So we know the microphone, we know what that looks like, we know that's exactly the same. The goodies that you're going to get in the bag, in the um, in the box, are highly likely to be obviously a power cable. You're going to get a USB cable, which is only used for updating the firmware. Um, they've not they've not going to be doing the firmware again with with an SD card, as I as I can see it. Although the radio itself does have an SD card, which will take up to 32 gigs but this is going to be for firmware only, not for programming. Um, programming will be available via the uh, SD card. You're going to get three meter cable here in the, um, in the box. This will allow separation of the head unit from the actual body of the radio, and that comes in the box. You also get the little tiny stubby cable, that will also come in the box um, as well. So you get those two cables. Um, I'm presuming that you'll get the little um, little head uh, bracket as well, because otherwise how would you fit it? So again, I think it's going to be exactly the same, to be honest. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at that, I'll do a close up. So I think um, there's going to be a lot, as I say, the same as the, the, the FTM 300 and the 6000. Right, so... Prices. I've seen quite a lot of stuff on the uh, interweb regarding prices and um, people saying that maybe something's going to um, probably drop after a while and all that sort of stuff. That's not probably the case. What we're, what we're thinking is that 
the new stocks of the FTM 300 will actually uh, come in at a new higher price. Um, and that's pretty much reflected across the whole of the market at the moment. We're starting to see some increased prices on, on all sorts of electronics, um, just due to the, the shortage at the moment of, uh, of electronic components. We're sort of starting to see that the prices are just starting to go up just a little bit. So let's have a closer look at the, the cases and, and what we think they're going to be like. So, OK, so let's just have a look at the, the body of the radio and what that's actually going to be like. Because like I said before, it's going to be the same. The head unit as well, they're, they're actually saying in my, my documentation here of the sizes of the head unit. If you look at the back panel, it's going to be the same sort of size as, as that back panel. The front panel is going to be very, very similar, a very similar button layout, but obviously they've just taken these, these uh, top buttons off and remolded the front. So we know that the, the actual the radio head unit is going to be sort of similar size. So the actual the base unit again is going to have that familiar sliding mobile bracket on, which is universal, can be slid across over the top or underneath so if you want to put this underneath sort of a dash or something like that you can or down between a, a seat and, uh, and, a, and a center console or something like that you can um, as i say or you can mount this in the boot as i say they do give you this um this extra cable one thing i will say with all the asu products the mobile products the microphone itself plugs into the body and we do do a cheap and cheerful solution which is basically a, um, I think it's an RJ12 extension cable with one of these sort of, uh, uh, I think they call them Eddystone blocks or something like that. Um, it's basically a female to female joiner, which will allow you to plug your microphone in there, run this through the car and then this into the body of the radio. So it's kind of a bit of a strange one really, why they would give you the, the uh, main body cable and not the ability to plug the mic in. But anyway, there you go we do do those um again it's going to be everything is going to be exactly the same the data port is exactly the same and i've been through one of these i think and there are a few cables on there the ct63 so let's have a quick look at this one they do you're going to be able to use the ct63 with this um should you wish to um and also the ct164 and the CT167. And what else? Oh, they're talking about on there the cooling. Now, somewhere around here, I did have a quick look at this. This is the brochure. Sorry, I'm flitting around just a little bit here, but it's, uh, it's quite complex. Um, so here we go. So they're talking about this uh, funnel air convection conductor cooling system. It's a flashy name, um, but basically what it's doing is drawing air from the front of the radio over the top of the heat sink and out the back through the centralized fan. So here we've actually got, um, I think you can just see, I don't actually see where the intakes are. Well, there's two, there's two vents in the front here, but it looks like to me that it's going in underneath the radio here, being sucked across the front and then out the back through this um, 40 millimeter fan. So um, they've obviously put a lot of thought into that. And uh, yeah, it works really well on the 300. Um, what else? Um, I think pretty much that's it. I think right at the moment, I think we're just, uh, we're, we're sort of guessing everyone's the same. We're all sort of looking at the online sort of specs and the paper specs. Um, but I'm quite excited to see this radio. I think it's gonna fit in really nicely between these two radios and give us a, an, another option but like i said i think the ftm 300 will go up in price um, i think the ftm 200 will sit in the middle and of course the 6000 will be the cheapest out of all of the being i think this is dual dual band but it is pretty limited functionality compared to, to the 300. so right now i think the ftm 300 offers the best value for money right at this precise moment. So if you're looking to get a mobile solution, 
I'd probably go for the 300 right now. The 200 when it comes in will be the same price as the 300, but that won't be forever. I'm sure that the 300 will go up just because um, the 200s coming in are coming in at the new prices. So it, we, we suspect that the 300 is going to have to go up just a little bit. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully we'll speak to you very, very soon. If you need anything, do give us a call at the store on 0345 2300 And if you've got any questions you want to email over to us, you can at support at hamradio.co.uk if it's a technical question, or if you want to speak to the sales team, sales at hamradio.co.uk. So thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.